going on everybody sebastian here with spin driving school and in today's video we are going to talk about fog some mystifying adventures that's right it's been foggy last few days weeks so we'll just address some issues that have come up during some of my lessons let's uh let's just get right to it so here it is nice or decently clear day half half foggy and pretty much full force you can barely make out where those towers are nighttime fairly clear and then boom other than street lights the trees things disappear in the distance now let's just get into some car etiquette turn your lights on and then let's just high beam low beam and your fog lights usually are going to be on the outer uh, or sorry on the inside ring depending on the car i should say because every car is going to be a little bit different but that's where mine are and if you drive a toyota or most japanese cars that's probably where it is so if, if you notice that green light coming on there there you go there's your fog lights could be yellow sometimes it's yellow sometimes it's green and then i'll just go through the lights here a little bit so low beam high beam and then you have your some some people call them spotlights some people call them parking lights some people call them uh, i forget what the other names are but those are your uh lights on the side now these bottom lights that's where your fog lights are right there so those are my fog lights and they're usually going to be on your lower bumper so that's that um do you have to have your fog lights in the fog i mean if it's really thick i definitely recommend it uh, in this case, I actually did put my fog lights on because it does make you more visible, but you know, it's not as bad as some people thought it was. You will see this car disappear here in the distance. So we have maybe 12 to 13, 14, let's say a dozen cars um, of visibility until this car pretty much fully disappears. It's, you know, it's not bad. I mean, I've driven in the fog where you can't see two feet in front of you. And it's scary, but I've done it once. Now, this area here gets foggy quite often. I think this is Capitol Hill, uh, Upper Burnaby there. So things like that will depend, or I should say, let me rephrase that. Uh, the, the fogginess will depend on, you know, weather conditions and elevation etc etc so you know depending on where you live you might get more or less fog so this is this was the week or two weeks i think before the the heavy fog and then here we go this is the first day of the uh, heavy fog that we had so as you could tell there's a slight difference in visibility there and the thickness of the fog is just it's just lower right a lot of times it, it disappears with the sun or with the wind but for, for that week when this uh, thick fog happened it wasn't really moving anywhere so again depending on your distance and speed uh, things will become more or less visible depending on your distance and speed and you're on your elevation and how thick the fog is uh, depending on where you are right so it's not really as you know as dangerous as it may seem you still need to be somewhat careful you know especially for things in the distance if you're a defensive driver and you're looking for things in the distance it's not going to be uh, much of an issue but rain and fog very common it happens so you know you, you can reduce your speed in these situations a little bit if you want but I usually don't not too much even in this situation I'm still still driving normally right but if you don't know the roads if you don't know where you are I mean if it, can you miss a stop sign or traffic lights yeah if you're driving too fast and in, in sections where the fog is a little bit thicker than others yeah like here you'll see the green lights come into view right this is just distance and perspective that's all it is so you know it's it's still good 100 150 meters or whatever that distance is 
pretty visible, right? But yeah, if you look at things in the distance, they do disappear. So, and it kind of looks cool, you know? We don't get um, a lot of this. Pedestrians, you always got to look out for pedestrians. All right, so again, things in the distance, if you see a crosswalk, you know, just scan, be a little bit more careful and cautious and, and use your scanning skills to see and catch these things uh, before they happen. And I shouldn't say we don't get a lot of um, fog in Vancouver because, I mean, we do, but for these long or longer periods of time is, uh, so let's, let's rephrase that. Anyways, take care, dasvidanya, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Fellas, ladies, and everybody else, ciao.